So hello, welcome to LMM 168 and today I have a Riptide bushing staff for Dual Kingpin uh, electric skateboard. It comes with the this sticker and there's a bunch of uh, bushing. So this is a uh, specifically made for Ultra, which I have uh, Ultra. And it comes with two different bushing duo mirror. This is harder duo and this is a little softer, but they are both very, very hard. It comes with um, a bunch of uh, wash washers, I guess. Uh, to match whatever you have it comes with the one cup bushing and uh, just flat bushing no not bushing flat washer for the bushings um, and also comes with this pivot cup it's, uh, high quality very sleek pivot cups and uh, from what I heard this cup washers are optional uh, so if you want more stability you can just use this cup washers so instruction is written on the lead it's a pretty straightforward there's a front truck back truck first second third fourth bushing that you're gonna put it on so now i'm going to do this on my ultra black carp 2. so in a dual kingpin truck like this you have two kingpins these are so why it is called two kingpin. In most situations, this is not a problem, especially with these really hard bushing that comes with this stock, uh, but this is cone shape. Uh, so this has a lot of uh, flexibility in the truck. You can turn really tight. Problem with these is that if you go a little bit too fast, faster than what you can handle, these easily can throw you off the board because it's um, when it starts to wobble, it gets really violent. So because of that, I tightened this down really a lot more than I should because these are shaped in conical and it gives you more turning arc, but also very unstable. And in order to replace this bushing to other brand did or I want to set it up differently uh, that's next to impossible because these are the heights of a regular um, skateboarding but the width or the shape of it they don't come in this kind of shape they don't come in barrel they all uh, conical regular skateboard uh, bushing so the first front truck deck side bushing is kind of funny it's a uh, conical but there's a little bit of fat leaps on this side and then instead of usual going um, the cone going at the bottom um, in the in the in the washer side is made for the fat side so I'm assuming it's going to be go like this and then there goes my pivot cup I noticed that this is more High quality do I notice it uh, I feel like this is more a little more softer and rubbery and this is more like a plasticky uh, and it has a little bit of vent hole in in the center of this goes like this just a barrel flat this is slightly taller I just noticed this slightly taller uh, than the green one with the bolt and nut flat. Yep. This one has a step of a Pushing. This is almost like a plastic. This is even harder than other pushing. That's interesting. Hopefully fit over this. Okay, so this weird stepped barrel bushing goes like this.
this is so this is the um, the regular without the cup bushing this is very very easy to turn I'm not sure how it's gonna be stable in high speed I hopefully it does um, I might need to use the cup washer on these so oh fuck. immediately this is way too loose I think I'm gonna use both um, the dish and the harder bushing that Riptide provided as an optional like I can't go fast but like I feel like this is way too loose like I think I can get used to it Yeah, I'm getting a wobble a little. A little bit of wobble. House off road. It's not bad. But it is, oh, it's very loose for sure. Turning radius is great. I just can't go any lower. That's more of a problem than the limited radius. Wow, this thing is really turning. Mm. Oh, it's easy. Okay. I'm gonna go back and change the bushing. I, I think they're just too loose, at least for me. Okay, so I changed to the, the harder bushing plus the cup washer. It feels much nicer. Like honestly, this is way better. It's just enough. It doesn't turn too much that I fall. And it's very stable. Yeah, this is pretty good. Let's go to the park. Wow. Okay, so I think I need to tighten it down a little more because I'm still getting a speed wobble if I go too fast. Um, well, other than that, it, look, it feels nice. Like it's a nicer than what I had before. It just, um, how do I explain it? It just feels so much smoother when you're turning. And it's like so predictable compared to the the original uh, bushing. It's like and it's quite responsive too. It's responsive. Yeah, that's that's the biggest difference I think between the uh, regular one and this one. It's like much responsive. Um, I'll show you the turning radius. I can go really small circle. I'm trying. Woo. Woo. <laughs> so what do I think about the Riptide bushing set for the electric skateboard? Is it worth it? Um, I think it is very worth it. I noticed the difference right away after changing those plasticky cone shape bushing from the original board. The new bushing has a very good rebound, meaning it's elastic. It pushes back to the center all the time. That keeps the stability of the board. It's also very responsive to the input of the user when I'm turning left and right, which means I can turn more sharply or less, depends on how I like it, without sacrificing the turnability of the board. That being said, their website description is a little bit deceptive. I chose the medium set of the bushing, medium hardness of the bushing because of my weight is about 125 pounds or 60 kilograms. However, this should be more of the carving setup than the weight system, 
when it comes to choosing dual mirror of the bushings, which means the hardness of the bushing. If you're using an altering board like me, I highly recommend going the harder one than the medium one. Medium one just is straight off for the uh, street carvers who are very lightweight and uh, low to the center of the gravity. You have a smooth, nice tomahawk. Yes, yeah, go for the medium. It's really good um, when it comes to carving, but when it comes to like off-roading and you have to you have like very uneven surface to ride on and then all train board in general very high off the ground i suggest you going a uh, harder bushing or even the hardest one if you really want to go fast so what ended up working for me is that i took those cup washers from the original onsra bushing set and i replaced the flat washers from the whip tide now the bushing movement is more restricted this way but at the same time it's i'm not feeling like falling off the board because it's too loose. But overall, I'm really satisfied the retired bushing set. This is like great. And then it's not like something you can get anywhere else. Like they're the only seller who sells the uh, double kingpin electric skateboard bushing. So if you're looking for upgrade your stability and the, the edge agility of the board, and this is a way to do it. This is probably the only way to do it when it comes to double kingpin electric skateboard. Anyways, that's been it for today, and thanks for watching, I'll see you on the next one. Bye!